Hello, everybody. Hey, I didn't get everything done I wanted to do today, but what I did get done, I, I repaired the battery for the uh, Sky RC uh, GSM 010, I think is the number on that thing. And I compared it with the new Mini GPS. And I'll, uh, I'll, well, I'll just show you guys how it turned out. I think it was a good test. And uh, we started having rain again, so I didn't get any uh, actual testing done with the GPSs other than to do a comparison. So here we go. First thing I'm going to do is repair this battery. This is the battery out of my little GPS. Um, it, I flung it out a time too many and uh, it pulled the plug off. So I've got this little wire. It's already got the plug on it. Figured this would be the easiest way to do this. And uh, first thing I'm going to do is tin these wires. And for people that don't know what that is, it just means I'm going to go ahead and put a little solder on them. This is what they look like. So just individual wires. And so if you uh, put just a tiny dab of flux on here. I'm, I'm doing something different today too. I'm going to actually record directly into my phone through 11,000 foot wire cable so I don't have to sync this after this is over. So I put a little bit of flux on there and then what I'll do is I'll just touch this to the soldering iron and put a little bit of solder on each wire. So they, the wires are technically already soldered and that's what uh, tinning is. Okay, so now you basically have one solid wire. Now what we're going to have to do is open the end of this LiPo and it's just got some tape on there to seal it up and I'm going to open it the absolute least I can because I'm going to try and reuse this tape and they folded a piece over the top okay so here's what we have and uh, looks like they tucked the wires under the bottom of the circuit board so that is what we're going to do also so we'll desolder the positive lead put a little tiny bit of tension on it put a little heat on it and it's gone and so that we don't mix these up I don't know if the uh, yeah the circuit board doesn't appear to be labeled so in order to not goof these up accidentally or think about it or have a phone call and something uh, come up or whatever and get sidetracked I'm going to do these one at a time so I'll just hold this wire in place and since it's pre-tinned all I've got to do is just flow the solder and these two since there's already solder on the pad already solder on the wire that's it that's all you've got to do and that one is done so I'll while my fingers are in here I'll desolder the uh, negative wire That's done. Get the other one routed in. And that's that. So we now have a, uh, a solder connection on the hot and the ground. Put the tape back on there and we'll be ready to go. Okay. And then the other piece of tape wrapped around all of this and tied the end of it together. So that's it. And we will plug it into the GPS and if nothing blows up gets hot or smokes I think it worked
apparently that worked. So I've got a new GPS and I'm going to unbox it and I'm going to compare it to this GPS. I was going to go do a speed run with the new GPS, but we need to know is the new GPS and the old GPS uh, going, to, going to be the same. So I think the easiest way rather than stick the two of these on the uh, car at the same time, I'm actually going to go get in my pickup and go for a quick little ride and see if both of these things show the same speed. This is a uh, pretty popular speed meter. They do have a new version out of GSM-015 that is just a push button to change between um, kilometers and miles per hour. So, uh, But I don't have one of those. The problem I keep having is I've got the, um, whether you use Velcro or the mag mount, when I crash the car, which I seem to do frequently, it pops the door open and then everything flies out. I shortened that wire up a little bit so it actually fits in there better now. So what I'm going to do is um, use some Gorilla tape and I'm actually going to tape over the end of this just leaving a place to charge it. And I'm thinking I'm going to put a couple of pieces on here uh, just to cushion it up. You can see it takes a, a pretty good beating. So going to do that and I don't think anybody needs to or cares to watch me put tape on a uh, GPS. So I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. Alrighty then. Well, it's not pretty, but I think the door is going to stay closed now. So that I'm sure it's going to live longer. Pretty or not, it's going to live longer. So we'll let's do a comparison with the other GPS. Welcome to another uh, multi-project desktop. So I got a new GPS and uh, supposedly this thing's waterproof and uh, it's supposed to be just a dandy bicycle computer but it does show uh, miles per hour kilometers. Um, it's got a, a high setting or a memory whatever you would are more comfortable calling it. So this should work pretty good for a GPS. And what I'm going to do, I've got, I repaired the uh, 144001 that I crashed into the curb the other day. What I got the 45 mile an hour top speed on 3S with, and that's running the uh, uh, Hobby Wing 1060 and the Dumbo RC radio. So, uh, what I'm going to do here is go out in my pickup and see if this GPS and the other GPS agree with each other. And that way I don't have to, you know, we can rule that out as a variable if the car runs faster or slower. So that's what I'm going to do. We'll see how that turns out. And then I'm going to try to do a speed run on 3S on the uh, 144001. And I did uh, change the tires. I took the factory tires off and the tires that I re-glued on the last video, that's what I put on the car. So, If any of you have ever had a multi-button watch, this kind of works the same way. You got a set button back here and then you got your stuff. You can, If you want to keep the backlight on, you throw it on the desk. If you don't want to keep the backlight on, you push both these buttons at the same time. And you no longer have a backlight, which will give you more battery life. If you want the backlight on, you hit both buttons at the same time. And you just have to toggle through these uh, multi-button settings. It's got a little manual. Um, kind of starts off on a, a bad note uh, if you look at the way they spelled English. So... I'm sure it's like that most of the way through the manual. I, I didn't read the manual, so it's not that complicated to figure out. And it's got a nifty little bracket here, and it had a zip tie that I'm not going to use. But uh, this snaps onto the bike, or this snaps onto the back of the GPS. You twist it, and then it'll line up on your handlebars. I think it's a pretty neat um, little unit. 
I'm not going to use this. I'm going to make another magnet mount like I had on the other device. So, won't worry about this. Anyway, we'll do a comparison between this GPS and the other to see if they're both showing the same speed and um, go from there. Okay, I have uh, both GPS's zeroed out. You can see the uh, the mini GPS is much easier to see than the Sky RC. So I'm going to go just drive around the neighborhood, see what my max shows, and then I'm going to go out on the highway for a second and see what the max shows and see how close they are together. Well, this is what we have so far, 38.9 and 38 there's no decimal on this one so the you have the addition of the decimal and have a backlight so this one is actually quite a bit easier to see we've got a lot of glare if we can get the glare off of here but so now I'm going to take a loop out on the highway and uh, see how they compare okay I made it back to the house and I'm showing 57 Point nine, try to get the glare off. 57.9 and 57. So obviously there's no tints on the uh, the Sky RC, so it can't show those. One one thing I will say is it seemed to be uh, to me that the Mini GPS was more responsive or quicker to respond to speed changes. So. I'm thinking that, you know, overall it might actually just be a better unit for testing these things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this for another week or so uh, in my uh, in my truck and see if I can get some uh, some better comparisons. But I like the screen. I like the setup on it. And so far, um, I'm happy with the results. So I'll do a speed test on the little car. I'll be a little more confident in the outcome.